quite honestly, my friend, I have no idea either. Because I'm not a woman. I'm a trans mask, non-binary person. But I have a uterus. And, um... (laughs) I'm sorry. What you see is frustration. Because everybody complained when, oh, supposedly the vaccines are being forced onto people. And that takes away the bodily autonomy. But when the tables are turned... And the chips are down. When stuff like Roe getting overturned happens, nobody bats an eye. You know what I mean? It's just bullshit at the end of the day. Clear and utter bullshit. Funnily enough, I was told by my, at the time, uh, very Christian mother that fetuses are nothing more than parasites. Even though she's against abortion. So if that's the case, why would you make other people go through it? It's a very good question that I don't think anybody has an answer to. Sorry, I just, I read what you said and it was very insightful and thoughtful at the same time. And you know what the interesting part about all of this is? It's not based in any scientific fact. It's all based in religion. Religion has absolutely no place in Uh, our government. If the church wants an opinion, how about they start paying taxes? You should not be forcing your little magical book onto people who don't obviously believe in it and believe that stuff like Roe v. Wade is important. 